the yeah. field itself, I mean, when you're thinking about kind of technology and, that, and how that can help the kind of remote workforce, what sort of kind of solutions are you, are you either employing yourself, yeah. you know, other than the standard Zoom, whatever, yeah. or the, being some of the clients that you're working with who are constructing these global workforces yes. utilize? Yeah, so the, the, the main one, David, is we've actually built um, a, a technology platform across Europe called Shortlisted. Shortlist are a third party company that provide the software. So we, we've built with them a, a digital onboarding um, virtual compliance portal for all the contractors that we engage. And we configured that platform per country so that it's reflective of all the, the local rules and regulations. So it's a self-service portal for the independent contractor, the worker. They upload all the relevant um, details that we ask of them, you know, VAT certificate, proof of tax compliance. It varies per country, but there's like a, a 10 point check. And then our shared services or compliance team check that information with the relevant local authority, if it's the company's house in the UK or the Dutch Chamber of Commerce in, in Netherlands. So, so that's enabled us to still manage throughout the crisis because we can digitally onboard and offboard those workers. We can issue them with their contracts through that. We can issue them with um, a welcome pack, an onboarding document, an offboarding document. So, so that's really helped our business continue, uh, David, during the crisis, and it's really helped our clients continue to onboard uh, these workers during this time. Yeah, and I guess that's that's a key kind of uh, piece of advice, and whether or not they were to work with CXC and you soft, your software is. <clears throat> To have a kind of fully auditable, trackable system where yeah. you can say, "Here's all the documents. This is all the stuff that we did. This that's is what right. we saw." You know, that's that's a, it's a great thing to drive, isn't it? You know, a great if you were audited, a great thing. Ah, uh, it's 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 basically our defense, our defense file for ourselves, and but also the, the end client because you know we've got a lot of tax and liability laws and uh, data where you know they they. The, the tax authorities will sometimes leapfrog the intermediary and go direct to the client and say, right, you owe us this money because contractor X didn't, didn't pay um, their, their taxes or whatnot. But ju just on the Zoom point, David, if, if I may, um, because as I mentioned, our business was built remotely, we, we've been using Zoom for all communications, all chat functions, all projects for, for the last four, four years. And it's been such an effective tool for us anyway scaling and growing the business across 14 countries now um, and yeah, yeah. we are huge advocates for the zoom mm. yeah look, 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 uh, we're not under we're not being paid but i've i was no. Zoom has that works better technically you get less lag and that's sort of yes. so we'll make our, we'll get our money from the sponsorship later but, uh, <laughs> 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 so it's, it's sponsored by zoom across the bottom. yeah sponsored by zoom <laughs> we wish yeah, we wish, exactly. The, the, the other technology trend we're seeing, David, is, um, again, that, you know, I think some recruitment companies are actually embracing this concept, and some, some aren't, and some won't, potentially, because they might want to focus on, you know, being a talent advisor to their clients. But um, we're seeing a huge growth um, from, from clients looking to build talent pools or talent platforms. So they want to, they want to basically look at all the talent that has touched their organization over a given period of time, whether they're alumni, applicants, the, the so-called silver medalist that didn't get the job but came a close yeah. second. Um, you know, the, this concept. So we've been working quite closely with Twago, um, Elevate Direct um, in Europe here to help organizations really build out those talent platforms and, and refer talent into the talent pool so that yeah. they can so obviously then the customers can get the, 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 the benefit over a period of time so exactly exactly so it's almost this concept of of you know potentially cheaper and um, faster and, and, and better and almost a bit like a talent overdraft that they can draw time <laughs> down yeah. upon um now, now this trend is is, is really become more prominent during during the corona crisis as, as companies seek to access to talent in different parts of the world